Hey guys, so I'm gonna try something. <laughs> I don't know how it's gonna go, um, but I wanted to show you so we can all learn. Um, basically, for those of you that have followed us a long time, you know that we have three macaws, two of which are brothers in our Camelot macaws, and one of which is uh, Jinx. He is a blue-throated macaw. Um, what happened with our flock dynamic is that when we got all three of them, we trained them all together, we housed them all together, and um, and everything was great and fine, of course, because young birds are great and fine. <laughs> um, however, as life progressed, Jinx, our blue-throated macaw, really thrived in the show environment. And so we used him more and more for more complicated um, tricks and interactions. I started using him in the one-hour pre-show at the circus, whereas I didn't use Comet and Tusa. Um, Comet and Tusa tended to spend more time together, whereas Jinx spent more time with us. Um, that's just kind of how the natural progression happened. He just is a show bird. He loves being in the show, and he was so good at it that we just kept going with it. Um, Comet and Tusa are also great show birds, um, but we didn't socialize them as much because we were focused on their free-flying aspect, and we really didn't want them landing on other people. So we intentionally didn't socialize them as well as we did with Jinx. Um, and kind of what happened is Comet and Tusa became more bonded with each other, whereas Jinx became more bonded with us. And so even when we put Comet and Tusa in the show, we usually have them in, um, kind of in the show together. So we put them on the cruise ship, they were flying in as our finale. Tusa was flying in, landing on Dave, and Comet was flying in, landing on me, but they were flying in together. Um, and then even on the circus, I think, gosh, how did that go? It feels so long ago. Um, Comet appeared with Dave, and then Dave would fly him to me and I would fly to said to Dave and he would have both of them and and run off with them and so just like the interactions and everything that we did was kind of pairing Comet and Tusa together just because they liked each other and they're more likely to do the behaviors together and Jinx was kind of solo and what happened one year was um, they were housed together and Jinx went after Tusa and he hurt him pretty bad in the face and ever since I've housed everybody separately um, but when I have to house two together, I usually pick Comet and Tusa, and they've always done well. But Comet and Jinx have done fine as well. It's Tusa and Jinx that seem to have an issue, and it's really Jinx. He goes after Tusa. Um, so then this summer, we spent in Moab, and Jinx went to Flying Colors Aviary and hung out for the summer while I had all the other birds. And I slowly took the birds up to Idaho that weren't in the show, and that included Comet. So we were just using Tusa and Cressy. And when I brought Jinx back, um, basically this fall or end of the summer, him and Tusa were great. They got along well. There was no comment to change his dynamic and they were buddies. And I remember saying in the videos, I'm like, man, if I get home and this changes, I'm gonna be bummed out, but I'll also have something to film. And you guessed it, I have something to film. So what happened was I housed all the macaws separately and the dynamic stayed the same. It was all good, but then, um, I really needed to house my three medium-sized birds separately, and I'm basically short one cage. So no matter what, two birds have to be together, have to be housed together. So hopefully we'll change that soon, but we're kind of having a space issue. <laughs> um, so what I did was I chose Comet and Tusa, and I put them together, and it totally ruined the dynamic. So Jinx is now an outcast again, and I'll show you what that looks like. It sucks. Jinx flew over to the saviory to go fight with these guys. Anytime I house two of the macaws together, it changes the dynamic, as you can see. So, this is something we're definitely going to have to work on. But whichever two are together, pair up and go anti the third one. And this has happened... Only not against Comet. Comet's like the one that can get along with both Jinx and Tusa. Um, so what I've decided to do is work with them and show you guys what it looks like. So I'm gonna bring all three macaws in. I'm gonna put them all on a tea stand, like a perch, and I'm going to reward them for just being in the presence of each other and being nice. You're gonna see some insane body language, I'm sure, from mostly Jinx. <laughs> um, 
wings go out, feathers go up, eyes pinned, he gets pissed. Um, and what I'm really gonna try to avoid is having them go and attack each other. I'm hopefully gonna be able to house, um, not house, but like um, position them close enough that you guys can see everything well. Um, and we're just gonna go for it and see what happens. So, wish me luck. Okay. Gonna grab the birds. Bye. Be right back. Love you, bye. Have a good video. <laughs> Thanks, Capri. All right, we're gonna start with Jinx because he's gonna show them his body language when the others come in. And then I'm gonna put Comet in the middle because he's kind of the neutral bird. them away. Comment. Hey. I'm going to back away a little bit. Everybody's a little heightened. gonna get an almond but we're gonna we might have to wait a while there we go wow good boys good boys good job hey jinxie you got yours all by yourself buddy let's do this good yeah did you not so Jinx got a little heightened seeing the other guys get an almond too. So what I did was cue to behavior where I know he wasn't angry doing it and it distracted him enough I was able to capture that good content emotion and give him a treat after all. Oh boy, that's really, hey, there was a girl that said that she never sees our birds poop on video so that was one if you missed it. <laughs> Okay, so they've all just switched into training mode. This is good. I don't know if you see it, but they're all waiting for me to cue them to do something. So what I'm gonna do is move Comet back into the middle. And you can see nobody even cared. Good. Comet. Gonna wait. They're far enough away that like they would have to jump at each other to make it not work. Comment. Jinx, it's okay. Go go Just lay down. I might have to, but it would be huge if they stopped doing this right here. Comment. Can you wait? Oh, good boys. I know you didn't do anything. So what I'm realizing would be even more awesome here, since I have three birds, would be to have at least two people. So one person could reward Jinx and one person could reward Comet Tusa because what I'm having a problem with now is that they all get pissed off that everybody earns a treat. <laughs> so what about you? You want to give a, well, I worry about you doing it kiddo because they're a little bit mad with each other and I don't want them to accidentally bite you. I'd be okay if they bit dad, but not you. Or dad, nobody <laughs> likes to get bit. Nobody likes to get bit, but I'd rather have dad get bit than you. Dad's been bit before and it really hurts your feelings. Dad can separate it a little bit better than you. Good boys. So I'm gonna try this. Aha, okay. 
So what I did was I had two almonds in my left hand, one almond in my right, and Comet Tooths are pretty good with each other. They each took one, and Jinx took his, and they didn't even know that everybody got rewarded. So who needs Dad? We got it. Mom, it made you mess. I know. I'll have to pick it up after. Can I show everyone your painting? Yeah? Since the guys are just eating their treats, you guys can see what Capri's doing. She is painting over here while I'm training. <laughs> Looks super pretty, kiddo. I was trying to finish it before you Oh, really? All right. What I would like to do is move everybody a little bit closer. So we're just gonna move closer to Comet. Oh, you are fine to go closer. Check that out. Nobody even cared. Oh, spoke too soon. Just a little bit. Here's another poop for you. I'm just going to give it a minute. You can tell Jinx is <coughs> uncomfortable because he's the furthest away from Comet he could possibly be. Good job, guys. Okay. Comment. How did you get all twisted? Oh, well, yours is loose. <gasps> Comment. It's okay. Don't yell at them, please. Comment. Hey. Guys, focus. Focus. Can we all give a wave? Can we all give a wave? Comment, yours is crap. Let's give a wave. Good. Wasn't as good as I wanted. Comments really got it for you. I know, you're like, get me out of this. Let's switch places and see what happens. That's what I was afraid of. Yeah. Stay there. I'm gonna move apart again. So Jinx actually jumped after Tusa. I don't know why it's so big with Tusa. Because you can see that Comet was more of the aggressor. And now they're teaming up. Which is why Comet gets so mad at Jinx. I know you're mad at him. That wasn't nice. We're gonna have to separate you guys all again. Can we go to the middle? Go to the middle for you. Go to the side for you. Yeah, Comet's really whipped at you. He went after his brother, buddy. Can't do that. You guys are okay. All right. So you can see switching the dynamic to the actual problem birds who are Tusa and Jinx. They are not ready for it. And Comet's aggress aggression is just simply coming out of the fact of protecting his brother. We're just gonna have to wait for you guys all to calm down, for wings to go down, for feathers to chill out. Yeah, we're gonna wait. Tusa, you're being very good, Tusa. Good boy, Tusa. Papa, you okay? Comet, you all right? I'm not calling you, stay there. You're a little angsty, buddy. Good boy, Jinxie. Good boy, Tusa. I'm waiting for you to chill out, Comet. Can you calm down for me? I don't know if you guys can see it that well, but Comet's kind of twitching his wings. He is not a happy camper. So I'm just kind of waiting. The other two are really good right now, though. 
Oh, what a good boy, Comet. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, you dropped yours. You want it? You want something else? Wow, I should have brought a broom in here. Okay, well hopefully this is helpful. I'm ending on this one, because as you can see, it gets really intense really fast. So, it'll be interesting to see also, since Tusa and Jinx are really the ones with the issue, to just work with the two of them and take Comet out of it. So we'll see what happens. I'll give you guys an update. So Comet's over by me, if you want to see. He's over here. Oh. And this is just saying that... <laughs> Tusa? Jinxie? Uh-uh. Tusa is very uncomfortable, and that's why. I know, buddy. You're upset. We're going to go put Comet away. how this changes things. Okay? You guys are both being very good. I'm gonna bring you closer. It's okay, Tusa. Jinxie, wave for me. Good. You wave, Tusa? Good. Um, Jinxie. All right, so you can see, hopefully you guys can see, Jinxie. Jinx is the aggressor. He is literally waiting to just fly at Tusa. So I am constantly having to get his attention. Jinxie, spin. them all the time for breaks so do you mind if you have a question or like a comment I'm gonna pick one of them up so I can listen to you okay, okay. otherwise that kind of stuff happens and if I'm distracted one of them can get really hurt so Jinx is mad right now because I'm holding too do if he flies at him is I am going to pull Tusa out of the way so that Jinx can fly into whatever is behind us. I know, Comet's worried for you. Don't even. No. Okay. So Jinx came after us but he didn't get Tusa. Being good, it's okay. Couldn't get to you there. <coughs> okay, I'm gonna hold on to you instead. And we're gonna try it this way. Since Jinx is the aggressor and Tusa is not, I'm gonna hold on to Jinx so that he can't attack. And Jinx is asking to go to my other hand because he knows that I don't ask him to do anything on this hand. So I will. No. It's okay, Tusa. I will not let him get you, buddy. I will not let him get you. It is okay. He will not get you.
Good boy. Good boy, Juicy. Okay. No. Mm -mm. We don't want that. So this is a lot better. I can control the aggressor. Good boys. And I'm even getting them a little bit closer without them noticing. I'm gonna grab some more treats because my stash is pretty low. Good. That wing twitching from Jinx is super good. That is him being very, very nice. Nope. No, Jinxie. We don't get mad that Tusa eats too. No. Jinxie. Hey. Papa. Jinxie. Mm mm. Yeah, but they gotta earn the treat by being nice. Is Jinxie being nice? No. Okay, that was good. Screaming, you little bugger. He took the treat I had for Tusa. So. Jinxie? Hold him a little bit lower. What I want is for Jinx to associate Tusa positively. This next time I'm going to try giving Tusa the treat first and then Jinx. So that worked a little bit better. Ah. Treating Tusa first. And I'm holding him just far enough that he cannot actually get Tusa, which is making it so that Tusa feels safe enough he doesn't have to fly away. So good. Jinxie is an a-hole. Okay. Oh my gosh, so that was super good. That was, Jinxie looked at Tusa, he totally had the means to do his normal 
mouth open at you, and he chose not to. They're getting braver. At least Tusa's getting braver. He's being, he's willing to get closer to Jinx sometimes. Jinx thinks that he gets rewarded for kind of like doing a preening motion, which is interesting. Which I guess I could use that. You guys are being so good. Good baby boys. Good boys. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna try this way. Until Tusa is really uncomfortable. So we're gonna back off a little bit. I thought that wasn't connected. Or he's just anxious to fly because he's so close. So we're gonna back him up a little bit. It's okay, head on. It is okay, Tusa, I promise. I will not let him get you, buddy. I will not let him. Job, guys. Yeah. Here, 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 Baba. Hold on, babe. Ooh, super pretty. Capri minister picture. All right, so I've given the boys a chance to just hang out, be content, and they have. They've been great. They have not done anything to each other. Uh, that's really noisy, kiddo. <laughs> it was pretty noisy. So, I'm gonna do another session. Let's see what we can do. Jinxie. Good. Okay. Nope, gonna have to hold you. Okay, we're gonna go back to holding, because that's fun. <laughs> you can see that Jinx is trying the things that he learned, but he's a little too heightened. Yeah, you're doing all the good things, but you're heightened. Your emotional state is not where I want it, which is more important right now. So I don't know if you guys can see this, but he is super twitchy, so he's like all robotic and stuff, um, which I don't want. It means that he's excited. Tusa's doing everything right. He's in the right state, but Jinx is a little too heightened, and I don't want to click because I don't want this emotion captured. I need really content, happy, don't care emotion. Bugs. Can you calm down for me? Can you calm down?
come down to me, Bobby. I just want you to calm down. No, you want to go on my other side. I broke that wrist, so it gets sore holding you. Yeah, it gets sore. I need you to calm down. Bobby. Papa. Why did you calm down, Bubs? I need you to calm down. Okay, can you calm down? Good. That's what I wanted. You can take a few.